atomic age was born. There is no denying that since that moment, the shadow of the atom bomb has been across all our lives. Wisdom demands that we take time to understand this force, because here, in fact, is a giant of limitless power at man's command. Ah, the 1950s. Splitting the atom was supposed to bring us limitless energy. But in 1979, the nuclear reactor at Three Mile Island, Pennsylvania, melted down. In 1986, a reactor in Chernobyl, Ukraine exploded, melted, and contaminated much of Europe. And in 2011, an earthquake and tsunami destroyed a nuclear plant in Fukushima, Japan, causing massive contamination that continues today. There is one thing nukes do right. They make electricity without burning fuels that cause climate change. So, can we go back to the future? Some say yes. I'm here with Stuart Brand. He's the founder of the Whole Earth Catalog. I've been an environmentalist for 60 years. Um, a bunch of things that we thought were against green, like nuclear, in light of climate, actually now green. If climate were not an issue, I would be pro-nuclear, just because it's so much better than coal. Only three meltdowns out of thousands of power plants might be considered a success. But when it comes to nuclear power, any mistake can lead to a catastrophe, poisoning the environment for generations. And there's another problem, nuclear waste. Highly contaminated, very dangerous waste. Engineers in Finland are engaged in a groundbreaking project. Not long after the Fukushima accident, Japanese TV covered the world's first permanent nuclear waste disposal site. The facility will need to contain the hazardous waste for up to 100,000 years. In 2120, the holes will be filled in and the land above restored to forest. Then the wait begins for the radioactivity to decay. 100,000 years. The burial site is the subject of a documentary in which filmmaker Michael Madsen considers how strangers might be warned away. This place is not a place of honor. No esteemed deeds are commemorated here. You should not have come here. Please turn around and never come back. It is the first time in human history that we are producing something that has consequences for at least 3,000 generations into the future. That's what's happening in Europe. But in the US, Congress hasn't been able to pass anything comprehensive. But there is one place where radioactive waste is stored, the Waste Isolation Pilot Plant, or WIP, in New Mexico. WIP stores low-level waste, so it only needs to scare visitors away for 10,000 years. So you went about 2,000 feet here. We'll get on this other cart here. So basically what you're seeing there is salt, that's rock. You can hit that with a hammer, it'll ring like a bell. The first 100 years is called active institutional controls. And during that first 100 years, you have guards, you know, that are keeping people out and keeping them from drilling. After that, it's the passive institutional controls, the markers, the rooms, telling the message. WIP has documents, like this one, telling people to stay away until the year 12,000. What could possibly go wrong? Last year, a waste canister at WIP exploded, radiating 21 people. The cause? WIP keeps nuclear waste dry by packing it in kitty litter. And somebody bought the wrong kind. 